What's up you guys? It's Emma Ings. Welcome back to my channel. I have filmed this intro probably a hundred times now. Today I'm going to be doing a QA. and I asked you guys to ask me some questions on my Instagram story and I got some really good ones. So let's just get started before I ruin this intro as well. So, the first question says, do a full Q&A all about where you live and fashion and music and food and everything. So, I can kind of talk about where I live right now and what I'm kind of doing. Um, I live in Connecticut. I work full-time at H&M. I took a semester off to figure out what I wanted to do, where I wanted to be, um, and what I needed to do to get there. So, for those who don't know, I did a year at Suffolk University when I first graduated high school. And I loved it there. I loved that experience so much. Living in Boston was a dream and I met so many cool people and just had a lot of really cool experiences. But by the end of my spring semester there, I was pretty positive of the fact that I wanted to go into fashion and Suffolk just didn't have anything for that. It was also really late in the semester, so I couldn't really try to apply to anywhere else for the fall. So I was almost forced to take a semester off, but I've just been working full time at H&M and I recently applied to LaSalle College which is right outside of Boston and I got in so come January I'm going to be there and I'm going to be studying fashion communication and promotion. I'm really excited, very grateful and I, I can't wait for that experience as well. For the rest of the question I had kind of do something like a favorites video. Um, like a monthly favorites, you know, talking about my favorite clothing and beauty and music for the month of November. I really like watching those videos, so if that's something you guys would be interested in, please let me know. Next question. Who's your favorite coworker that's 5'4 from Rhode Island and is named Rachel? What's your favorite store to shop at? I really like to thrift, so Goodwill, Savers, Salvation Army, well, not as much Salvation Army, but... <laughs> Um, Buffalo Exchange, Garment District, things like that. That's what I love to do most. I love to thrift most of my clothes. Um, I also buy a lot of my clothes from Depop. For those who don't know, that's a resale app. So you can sell your own clothes on there or what a lot of people do is they will thrift clothes. Um, they'll find vintage pieces and then they will resell that. So it's like super, super recycled clothing, which is really cool as well. And because I work at H&M, a lot of my clothes are from H&M as well. What's one item of clothing you could never get thrifted? Obviously not underwear. So, I don't really have a good answer for this, honestly. Um, this one kind of stumped me. I've found so many things thrifting that I would never have expected to find thrifting. But the one thing I've never really been able to find is a good pair of sunglasses. I've never seen a nice, genuine, like trendy, cute pair of sunglasses when I was thrifting. So, yeah, I guess that's the only really answer I have. What's something you're struggling with right now? So, taking a semester off at the end of my spring semester last year seems like a really good decision. It seemed like I was gonna, you know, use this time to find myself and get inspired and be creative and instead I kind of have been in like a really bad funk for the past few months. It goes on and off. There are days where I'm really creative and then there's days where I do nothing creative. And yeah, it's just a very transitional period for me. Something I'm not really used to. I'm a very go, go, go type person. I always wanna be on the move. I always wanna be doing something that fulfills me. And I found myself feeling very unfulfilled during these past few months. So I'm, I'm hoping once I go to school that will change. Um, and I'll be re-inspired. Next question, who's your favorite female celebrity right now? I love Erica Costell, no shame in saying that at all. She's so cool, so badass. Um, I also love Me Love Me a lot. For those who don't know, she is such a cool artist. She does Photoshop in a lot of her Instagram photos and she always just has like really funky makeup and she's always dressing really cool, so. And then of course, Bella Hadid and Kylie, but those are like always, that's like an always type thing. <laughs> What's your current favorite Mac Miller song? So I've actually been listening to a Vince Staples song that has Mac on it, um, as well as Dash and Absol, and it's produced by Mac under Larry Fisherman. 
So it's called Sleep and it's only on SoundCloud that I know of. It's like a really, it's like an old song. It's been out for like, a, I've known about it for like a few years now, but it's, it's so good and I just have recently come back to it. For a song that's actually by Mac, I've been listening to Congratulations a lot and God is Fair, Sexy Nasty. I've actually been listening to Divine Feminine a lot recently, more than I ever have before, so it's interesting. It's an interesting perspective from him. Next question is, what's one item of clothing you couldn't live without? So I am going to be doing a whole video on my staple pieces in my wardrobe that I think are so necessary for everyone to have. but. I think my answer to this question would be hats, and hear me out here. <laughs> I get really, really oily hair, and because I now have colored hair, I've been trying to wash it less, which means that it's been super oily and greasy, and hats are just so necessary on days where I don't want to wash my hair. Even when I use dry shampoo, sometimes it doesn't work, so I have to wear a hat. And I also just love hats in general. I'm totally a hat person. Um, I have so many different types of hats and I love them all. Like, yeah, I would go butt ass naked, but if my hair is greasy, I'm gonna need a hat, you know? So, what's your favorite book? I don't really know the answer to this question. I love The Great Gatsby. I read it like a hundred times. And I also love anything by Kurt Vonnegut. I read The Kite Runner recently and absolutely loved that. I forget a lot of the books I've read throughout my lifetime, which is really sad, but. What are you most excited for when you go back to school? I am so very excited to be back in the city. Well, I'll be right outside the city, but I will be in the city almost every day just because of it's so convenient to get there. I'm also really excited to be back with my best friend, my soulmate, Jenna, who is asking me a lot of these questions. I adore you, I love you as well as my other friends from Suffolk. My stepsister goes to Boston College. I have a lot of friends who go there as well, so yeah. Next question. What is your go-to outfit when going out? I would say I usually try to focus it on one statement piece, whether that be like a statement pant or trouser or like a really cool top, and then I keep the rest super simple. So if I had like really cool like plaid pants or I'm trying to think like a really cool denim skirt, and then I would usually just pair it with like a white or black crop top. It's super simple, nothing fancy, and keep everything else really simple as well. The next question is, in what ways do you hope to inspire others? Um, I just wanna say I really love this question. And I really hope to inspire others to reach outside their comfort zone. I think it's really important to human growth and development that we all try to do something that's outside of our comfort zones on a daily basis, or at least as often as possible. It just allows us to step into a new realm and do something different and new and see a different perspective. And I also want to inspire others to express themselves however they deem fit. People get so scared of being different or looking different or doing something different that it restricts them. And art is all about self-expression, so just be yourself. The next question is, what's your favorite style or look that you wear? This is really tough. I have so many different styles that I enjoy wearing, but lately I've been super into street fashion, like Hypebeast, Korean street fashion, um, stuff like that. Yeah, I've definitely been on that wave a lot lately. The very last question is, what inspired you to start getting into makeup and style? I would say people and the world around me have really inspired me to use self-expression in the form of my style and makeup. Seeing others expressing themselves that way is what makes sense to me. It's what I've always understood. So yeah, people are super inspiring if you take a closer look and get to know them. And when you start seeing different people and people who express themselves in different ways, it's just, I find that really inspiring. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this type of video, definitely let me know. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.